कि अपनी चीजों को बिल्कुल भी एक्स्ट्रा एग्जैजरेट करके मत डालना और जितनी है उससे भी कम मत डालना बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज यू रेड दैट लैंग्वेज समवेयर थोड़ा सा भी कहीं पे भी गलती से यूज हो गया या पढ़ दिया या एक लाइन का मतलब पता है तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि उस लैंग्वेज को आपको डालना है जितना प्रोडक्ट में डालना था कि क्या है क्या नहीं है डिप्लॉय करा है नहीं करा है सब उसी एक लाइन में मैंशन था Welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Shripti, and in this video, I'll be talking about, or I'll be sharing some details about my resume. Let's start with it one by one. I'll state it in the form of pointers. So, first of all, I'll start with the structure of the resume. So, the structure of all my resume was like personal details, and then my experiences, and then my projects, then my skills. whatever technologies i know then my achievements and my pors so this was the whole structure that i followed it was a plain black and white uh, resume and uh, it was a one page just like how i suggest always keep your resumes to be a one pager ek hi page mein sara aa jayega trust me agar aap correct apt jitni required hai utni information daloge aaram se ek page mein aa jayega so one pager resumes make a lot of difference because nobody wants to read lengthy 2 3 pages ka resume no nahi dikhta hai usme kuch and bahut zyada colorful resume mein bhi nahi dikhta hai so aap resume short listing mein hi nikal jaoge nahi se dikkat ho jayegi so that is why i suggest one page of structured formatted plain black and white as simple as that so this was the structure for my resume so first as i told i had my personal details that is my name my phone number my email address and my linkedin id one thing again i'll say here make sure that your personal details are correct especially your phone number and your email id because i have seen some cases where people accidentally entered an incorrect email id and later unko bahut dikkat hua tha because they were not receiving any mails everybody around them were but they were confused as to why they are not getting any mails so that is why make sure that all your personal details are correct moving forward i had an internship section where i had a teaching assistant i guess one or two teaching assistants uh, internships and then i had a campus ambassador internship where i basically mentioned how i volunteered in a work during the covid-19 pandemic to help other people so that was for uh, some the social aspect and the other two internships were for the you can say technical or dsa aspect this resume basically i'm talking about the, at the time when i had my internship session coming up so yeah this was the resume at the time currently obviously it's updated and then moving forward i had projects i had i guess four projects at that time there was ml project and there was another open cv project and i also had one management system that i made initially during i guess first or second year of my college i don't remember exactly and that project was basically the implementation of object oriented programming it was a good project and uh, another project i had was it was a basic web development based project i guess i tried to make a clone yeah that was about it so this these were the four uh, basic projects or you can say some few projects that i had in my resume and i mentioned all the points i mentioned what is there about this project in the form of pointers and it should be crisp and clear nothing extra nothing too much nothing less jitna project mein dalna tha ki kya hai kya nahi hai deploy kara hai nahi kara sab usi ek line mein mention tha that was about for the project next i had a skill section where i mentioned all the technologies or web technologies i know or the languages i know and few of my soft skills so these were the few things that i mentioned and also one more thing uh, for the skill section don't just try to you know fill that portion agar koi language nahi aata hai usse mat dal agar kisi language ko galti se ek bar dekh liya ek bar padh liya uska matlab ye nahi wo aapko aati hai ya to just mention that you are a beginner at that language either just don't write that language agar aapko pata hai aap beginner level aapko wo language aata hai to beginner mention kar lena because just because you read that language somewhere thoda sa bhi kahin pe bhi galti se use ho gaya ya pad gaya ek line ka matlab pata hai to uska matlab ye nahi hai ki us language ko aapko dalna hai same goes for any other web technology or any other skill theek hai kuch bhi just because thoda sa usme aapko pata hai cheeze to aapne uske andar dal diya 
you don't have to do that and obviously the skill set that i used in case of my projects i mentioned them in my skills as well then moving on to achievement section it had information about my coding profiles it had about my uh, google code jam i o for women i guess and there was one uh, like general one as well so for both of them i mentioned my uh, rank details and for other, like all the other places where i participated in got a rank all these achievements any contest any hackathon maybe if you participated in everything comes there after the academic section i had a pur section so purs i consider are not very important for technical people like people applying for technical roles and that is the reason i mentioned just to main purs like the big big purs you can say and that was it and that was also like mentioned just like in the form of two lines one pur one line and that to very clear that the pur was written on the left side and the date from when to when was written on the right side and same was the case for my internship so you can see experience i mentioned the time as well in the form of brackets and yeah this was more or less about my whole resume you can say and definitely if i try to you know iske aage hi main aap logo ko kuch aur batau to main yahi bolna chahungi ki apni cheezon ko बिल्कुल भी एक्स्ट्रा एग्जैजरेट करके मत डालना और जितनी है उससे भी कम मत डालना ठीक है जितना आता है जितना तुमने करा है उतना सब कुछ रेज्यूम में प्रॉपरली मेंशन करो एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट डोंट लाई ऑन यूर रेज्यूम कहीं भी इफ इट ऑल आपको कोई चीज़ नहीं आती है आपको उसमें डाउट है तो मट ही डाल मतलब क्योंकि अगर बाद में रेज्यूमे रीडिंग आपका जब भी होगा इंटरव्यूज में हो सकता है ना हो बट अगर हो गया तो बहुत दिक्कत हो जाएगी एंड ऑब्वियसली इट्स नॉट अ वेरी गुड प्रैक्टिस टू डू सो नेवर लाई ऑन यूर रेज्यूमे एंड अगैन द सेम थिंग इवन इफ यू डन समथिंग टी वी वे डोंट मैंशन इट जब तक आपको उसकी थरो प्रैक्टिस नहीं है आपने उसे अच्छे से नहीं करा उसमें मत मैंशन करना सो दिस अगैन दिस वॉज द रेज्यूमे दैट आई हैड वेन आई वॉज अ ब्लैंक फॉर माई इंटर्नशिप्स या इट वॉज फॉर माई ऑन कैंपस इंटर्नशिप सो आई वॉज अ ब्लैंक एट दैट टाइम so i guess and i really hope this helped you guys also a uh, one thing that i would like to suggest is do to teaching assistants wala cheez internships it helps you a lot it helped me a lot to clear my dsa concepts so i'll suggest agar kahi se teaching assistant ka mil raha hai aapko internship so definitely karna it helps you a great deal matlab bahut zyada aapko help karta hai bahut zyada aapki you know practice aapki khud hi wahi bahut hi new jaati hai आपको पता चल जाता है छोटी छोटी चीजें कि हाउ दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स आर फंक्शनिंग लाइक टीचिंग असिस्टेंट इज अ वेरी गुड यू कैन से जॉब और यू कैन से इन टच सो डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू डू दैट एंड अगेन इन द सेम लाइन और सेम कॉन्टेक्स डेफिनेटली एड एज मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स एज यू कैन यू डोंट नीड टू एड लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स या तो आप अच्छा खासा प्रोजेक्ट एड कर दो एक या दो और अगर आप थोड़े से नॉर्मल से प्रोजेक्ट्स एड कर रहे हो तो मे भी उनकी क्वालिटी इंक्रीज कर सकते हो डिपेंड्स अपॉन and i will suggest acche projects banao unko deploy karo it's fine it's it's going to work great so yeah this was my resume and, uh, i hope it helped you thoda bahut or if you have any doubts any questions anything you can just uh, write that down in the comment section and that's it from my side and i hope you have a nice day and all the best for your placement sessions or internship sessions that are coming up i really hope you get into your dream companies Thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day.